Next guest is taking her career to new heights in 2023, 2020 me. Lacey Chabert rose to fame in the 90s as a child star in the hit show Party of Five, and her role playing one of the plastics, the gossipy and insecure Gretchen Wieners in the iconic cult classic film. Clearly, Tam Fam fans of Mean Girls in the house. In that role, she made the word fetch a permanent cultural catchphrase. And in her 35 roles starring in Hallmark movies, fans have declared her the queen of Christmas. And today, Lacey's launching her 2023 in the middle of a rare and big Hollywood get for any actress, a multi-picture deal where she not only stars in a series of films, she's also creating, developing, and executive producing a slate of movies for the Hallmark Channel. And one of those movies is the fans' favorite Wedding Veil trilogy. Lacey is back as Avery, now a newlywed, busy remodeling her home and discovering how the veil is going to add a little magic to help Avery and her husband start a family. Take a look. I'm thinking a lot about the bedroom and I was having trouble and then I found this. <laughs> I wore this in my hair. <sighs> the first time Peter and I met. And I just love the purple. Oh, the purple is so beautiful. But I'm thinking, you know what? Let's do it a little bit more muted, a little bit more dusty, and then this deep charcoal right here. That would be great for the floors. Oh, that could work. And mm -hmm. then I really love this creamy color. I thought this would be great for the trim, but maybe with a splash of peach, I'm gonna have to find you something for that color. Hey, sorry I'm late. My class went a bit long. Ah, uh, what'd I miss? The dining room and the bedroom. <laughs> Bam Bam, please welcome Lacey Chabert to our show! Thank you so much for joining us. I, I mean, you have your fans all packed in. Look, there's <laughs> one woman, she is clutching her hands in excitement <laughs> because you are here. I have to say, we're just talking to Kenya more about motherhood. Your daughter, Julia, is now how old? She's six. Six years old now. She's six. She's in kindergarten. Kindergarten. I mean. Yeah. She's just <laughs> so precious. I know, and I, I, I love this conversation always with parents about what to share and what not to share. And you, you are so uh, perfectly private, I think, in this beautiful way, but still sharing your moments as a mom. And you've been open about the loss of your sister, Wendy, and yes. how much Julia reminds you of her and that energy. She does. Um, <laughs> sorry, I didn't sit down and think I would get emotional. Uh, yeah, I lost my sister a year ago and it was very unexpected. And you know what, she was such a huge part of my life and you just don't love someone that much and that just end when their life here ends on earth. So I, I see her and my daughter, her feisty personality, and I just miss my sister every day. But you know what, I carry her in my heart and in all the things that we do. And I just, I really hold on to the hope and the promise that I will see her again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking too when I was looking at your daughter and how young she is. You were, what, 11 when you started? How old were you when I you I was started? actually even younger, I was seven. There you are. All my children. Yeah. You were how old there? With <laughs> I think I was about 10 there. Like 10 or 11. Yeah, years I was. What was your dream? So when you're looking at yourself there with the great Susan Lucci, who's a friend and I adore it, but what was the dream of that little kid compared oh to where you are now? Well, when I was little, it was I would watch TV and I loved TV shows and movies and I loved to sing and dance and entertain. And I go, I want to be in there. And the fact that I've actually gotten to be in there in my life is, is pretty amazing. And yeah. I know it's all an incredible blessing and I'm very, very thankful for everyone who's been my cheerleader all along the way. And I'm really living that dream now in getting to, like you said, be a part of developing these movies for Hallmark and not only being in them, but really having that creative voice and getting to wear a different hat by also producing and developing the projects and, and hearing from you know fans of the movies. Yeah, I, was, I love that they call it the Queen of Christmas. <laughs> I don't know about Queen that. <laughs> I did not Watch out, Mariah Carey's in the parking <laughs> Lot, so be careful. Hey, I, love, I love Mariah Carey. She actually directed one of the Christmas movies I did from Hallmark. I know. A few years ago, I remember. And she was wonderful. She was great. Oh, time listen, I, she's fantastic. No, she but can, the, she the, can wear you the both crown. can both be the queens of Christmas. There's enough Christmas to go around. Yeah. But 35 movies at Hallmark. They take place all over the world. Your character gets to travel in different films. Did you know that? Wow, it would take you away from home. It would have you on this wondrous adventure. 
Yeah, it really is an adventure. And you know, when you get to go somewhere for work, a place that you've never been, you perhaps maybe wouldn't go in real life. Like, it's such an opportunity. And I, we pack up the whole family and so do, you go on these So your daughter adventures. travels with you on typically these Typically she does. Really? Now that she's in school, it's a little bit harder. Yeah. But typically she does. And yeah, we shot one in South Africa, yeah. Love on Safari. Rome. We've been in Rome, uh, Ireland, all of these, and, and Greece. Yeah. For the wedding veil that's coming up, the part six with Ali Sweeney, when she's where she's the lead, we get to follow Tracy's story. We filmed in Greece, and we actually went there and filmed the entire movie there, and it was just such a special thing. Yeah, I think it's also special with the wedding veil. The, the series is that people are just along for this ride. Yes. Did you anticipate that part? Like it, people are no. <laughs> invested in every part of this veil and where it's going and what's happening. Here's the thing: you make a movie and you just hope for the best. Everybody works so hard on it. And you're like, I hope this is going to resonate with people. I hope people are going to watch it over and over. And the fact that the first time around, the first three movies, you know, you guys tuned in. Yeah. And because of that, we had the chance to make three more. So we're very, very, very grateful for the support. I know, to your point, there's like millions of homes around the world watching the series. What, what is it, what is the connective tissue? Because when you talk about what brings people together, I always say food, music, yes. and good TV. Yes. Good TV that you can all gather around with. Yeah. What do you think is the connective tissue about this series? I think people now more than ever, I know myself, like I want to watch something and feel uplifted. Yeah. And not be stressed out more than we already are in real life. <laughs> <laughs> you know, right? And I think it, it's, it's something that brings some goodness into the world and it just brings a little bit of happiness. And yeah. I think it's almost like comfort food. We have so many fans in the audience and after the break, I have to ask the question, Mean Girls, <laughs> will we see a reunion after all these years? Lacey's gonna answer after the break. <laughs> Still with Lacey Chabert here to talk about how she keeps climbing over the decades long career and bringing us movies and content we love. I said 2023, 2020 me. Oh, I love that. That's our theme for January. How do you balance those needs to put yourself first? What we said at the beginning of the year was that it's like the oxygen thing on the airplane. Yes. They say you got to put yours on first before your child, because if you're not healthy, how can you take care of everyone else? How do you balance that? Um, do I balance it? Do <laughs> is balance a thing that it you is can not achieve? A thing. Listen, it is <laughs> not achievable. I'm searching and for I, it. Let me, let me cut that question out right there. No, I'm going to keep it in because people ask it all the time. You no, know, it's, it's, it's so important, yeah. you know, and especially when you are trying to juggle everything. It's like, how do you have me time? How do you, like you said, take care of yourself so that you can be the best version of yeah. yourself to take care of other people? And I think what it's this, something I'm learning, honestly. With this theme, we're actually saying, you know, there's no balance. You have to put me first. Yeah. So then that means the scales are heavier toward you so that you can even them out at some point. Yeah, you know what I saw a lot this year with people not making New Year's resolutions yeah. and things? I saw a lot of posting and people talking on social media that I feel like people are just being a little bit gentler with themselves. And I think I it's been a hard three years for everybody. I, I tell people, say. I'm working on it too. Take it easy and it's on like, yourself. Let's just be our best version right. one day at a time. One day at a time. You know. In fact, we have a show coming up about that, taking small, simple steps to achieve it. Yeah. Your fans are here. They want to know original cast of Mean Girls. I know you have said, <laughs> I've read interviews um, where you've said you would be open to the idea of it. Is that still the case? Absolutely. Would... I would love to see what Gretchen is up to now. Yeah. yeah. Because I do wonder, like, <laughs> where about... are they now? I personally think she probably married Jason. Yeah. You know, they have a lot of babies. She's running the Toast Restrudel Empire. I don't know. <laughs> So you have the script in your mind. <laughs> Not exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? It's something that I would absolutely be open to. You're asked this happened. all the time. This is I like to pride myself on asking things nobody asks. <laughs> it's okay. But you're asked this all the time. Yes. And people really would like to see it. On the scale of one to I mean, is it really possible? I mean, Lindsay's making her come back in many ways. Oh, I love you her. You now so have this for... great multi-year deal, create content, and you're all very so powerful voices, especially for young women who want this content. Yeah, I think it's really up to Tina Fey. Really? Yeah. I, I know where she lives. <laughs> <laughs> Tina Fey, come on, we're waiting. Lacey, thank you so much. Thank, thank you for all the great content you are creating and keeping us watching. Thank you. Check out the Wedding Veil Expectations and all the Wedding Veil movies on Hallmark. Check your local listings. Thank you, Lacey.